Get your pro-life advice. Get your pro-life advice from the leaders of the nation. Get your pro-life advice. Get your pro-life advice. They'll help your situation. Oh, pro-life, where life matters. Where you, too, can have a professional life. My name is Will Strickland. I'm here today with Ed Lover from Kiss FM, all the way from New York City. We're down at the D Club, chilling. Ed Lover, <laughs> tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Where were you born and raised? I was born in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. 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 And my father got a job and we moved to Queens. Brooklyn, so Brooklyn. I'm a Queens boy. Queens boy. All right. Now, Ed, how long have you been born radio? Oh, wow. Radio started for me probably in like 19. I'm here from Pro Life Advice, where you too can have a professional lifestyle. And my special guest is Miss Vonda from Vonda's Kitchen. Say hello, Vonda. Hi. Thank you, Will, so much for having us today. We look forward to Pro Life Advice, and thank you for having us. Excellent. So, Vonda, tell tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. I know you were born here in Newark, New Jersey. Tell tell our viewers uh, who's who's Vonda. Well, actually, I was born here early. Um, in my early years, I lived here in Newark and born at Beth Israel Hospital, if you will. And uh, pretty much my love for cooking has really kind of brought me to this point, you know, wow. with the Vonda's Kitchen. I've always cooked and I've always had a love for it. So, okay. Yeah. Tell, tell our viewers, um, before you became this entrepreneur that, that you are today, um, what, what did you do in the past? Were you... Uh... Were, yeah. you, were you a chef before someone else? Someone actually, else I worked in corporate America, corporate America. and I had okay. the ability to actually send to sell mm -hmm. interventional cardiology stints to the Northeast region through mm -hmm. a company called ACS, and it was a wonderful experience. It taught me the basis of business, and I, as you know, when you're in sales and mm -hmm. you're working at that level, you're an independent contractor. And then uh, I also worked for Prime Media, mm -hmm. which was wonderful because we would do internet access uh, for our customers, which were worldwide. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you hear that, viewers. You can actually live out your dreams, even if you're working at another company. You should always concentrate on the future and how to be successful like Miss Vonda. So, Vonda, um, I see we had Mayor Corey, Corey A. Booker come by, and um, also the uh, Newark City Council came by and actually uh, helped you in your grand opening. That was on March 22nd. Yes. Tell us about your grand opening. How did it go? It was a wonderful experience, and, you know, it was an opportunity for the neighborhood to really interact with and to learn more about Vonda's Kitchen. So we certainly had all of, you know, the mayor's council, the mayor, Corey Booker, here, and he's been so supportive of us mm -hmm. and really pushing our healthy uh healthy uh, menu that wow. we have so it's been a wonderful experience that do uh, you know the neighborhood has welcomed us with open arms and supported us so i have just nothing but wonderful memories of that okay. day you said something interesting a minute ago and i wanted to touch on that uh, sure. 
your healthy menu. Tell our viewers what kind of menu you have. Well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to put together a menu where we would have the traditional things that our actual customer loved. Mm -hmm. And we do have soul food. And uh, soul however, food. <laughs> what we're giving our... Like okay. <laughs> but what we're doing now is, is that we're giving our, our audience actual choices and mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things that ha we have not seen Such before. As? Well, for example, if you have fish, you mm -hmm. can have it baked, you can okay. have it uh, fried, traditionally lightly fried, mm -hmm. you can have a wheat saute flour, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't want to use uh, the traditional uh, gluten type flour. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, and, and that's for all of our products, so mm -hmm. whether it be shrimp, whether it be chicken, whatever your protein is, we can make the changes. We mm -hmm. also offer many different types of vegetables, mm -hmm. exceeding what the traditions okay, are. I, I like to have uh, a lot of green vegetables, Spanish. <laughs> Spanish yes, um, spinach. We and, do uh, garlic asparagus. spinach, asparagus, okay, and nice. broccoli, and nice. we steam it, and mm. we can roast it for you. Those are the choices, and then if you look at some of of our uh, different types of sandwiches and mm -hmm. things that we're offering. And then we have a wonderful smoothie bar, which wow. has all fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's one of the components that we're looking for is for our customers to um, to recognize because you can also make them protein smoothies, especially in this neighborhood with the gym being right you know, next door to us. Okay. So we're just adding a little touch of goodness with some tradition. And that's right, what we're right. about. So, so tell me. Um, since this is an advice show, I mean, there's a lot of viewers out here who say to themselves, I, I would like to uh, be in business for myself, I would like to start a business here in Newark. Um, what, is, what are some tips that you can give? I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, might, you must have had some help from downtown City, City Hall and downtown Newark. And, and yes, okay. absolutely. But I think that first and for foremost, you really have to have a plan. And that plan has to be airtight, especially in this marketplace. And so with the help of, you know, other people in, within the city, mm -hmm. it's a wonderful thing. But you have to be really focused and know and understand and research whatever it is that you hope to do. Right. You had a, a couple of key points there. Mm -hmm. uh, for our viewers, um, she's, the, the key point she hit was a plan. You must have a plan. And also, you must do your research. It's very important to do your research because a lot of businesses, I mean, even some large-scale businesses, fail within the first uh, two years of being open because they really didn't have a tight business plan. That's very important. That very that. important because it has to be. And you have to go over, you know, maybe... 15 to 20 times to make sure that it's wow. airtight because okay. this is a difficult market for business. And in business, I'm sure you have to deal with quite a few um, legalities as far as you probably have to have an accountant, a lawyer, and so Absolutely. on and so forth. Absolutely. You have to have a team in place that supports you mm -hmm. and uh, really stands behind you and they understand what your vision is mm -hmm. and they can give you direction because that's most important. When you don't know, you need an advisory board to give you the wow, information. Wow, this is great information. Need. Advisory board as well. Well, yeah. so, so listen, um, there's a couple other things I want to ask you uh, regarding the restaurant, mm -hmm. and one of them is, what, what, do you have any short-term goals? I mean, what, what are you looking to do in the immediate future? Right. We're always looking, you know, as, as you have seen, many customer really customers tell us how clean and beautiful the place is. Yeah, I got some shots. It's, it's nice <laughs> and I love that. But we want to expand outward, especially for the summer season. So we're going to add, you know, a patio where our, our, our community can congregate outside and, you know, sit and have lunch outside right here on West Kinney. And I think that's a beautiful thing okay. because it's something that has not been done. And that's one of our main short-term goals. And then with the restaurant, we're probably going to change the hours mm -hmm. just to accommodate more of the summer mm -hmm. uh, with staying open to 8 o'clock that's important to me and then you know we just want to be able to have creative freedom with cooking and I think that that's one of the benefits that our customer tends to love is that we just don't have to do what's on the menu we have the ability to change up and make it fresh and new if it's something 
you know, that our customer wants and asks us for, we have that. So. Okay. I've actually tried one of your beverages. Uh, what was that? The lemonade with the strawberries? Can you yeah, tell, tell we, have a, uh, <laughs> we have a couple of them. We have a watermelon lemonade, mm -hmm. and we also have a strawberry lemonade. But our new one is a ginger lemonade, ginger. which is oh really God. refreshing. I have to try that. <laughs> Viewers, if you haven't tried it yet, why don't tell us, where, where are you located again? Is, we're at 183-185 West Kenny Street here in Newark and uh, right off of Martin Luther King Boulevard. Exactly, right off Martin Luther King Boulevard mm -hmm. between Howard or Irvin Turner. And uh, we're we we love Newark, let me just say that. <laughs> we love being here. So I just always make a point of that because they've been Newark has been so beautiful to us. Okay, viewers. I want to let you know Vonda is also a spiritual lady as well. Absolutely. She loves the Lord. I love the Lord. I talk about the Lord, and He has blessed me. So when I say all of these wonderful things that are happening, I just want you to know that I give Him all the praise, all the praise for everything that has been accomplished to this date. Excellent. So God be So, Vonda, before we leave, is there anything else that you want to talk to the audience about? Or any final comments? Or Yes, I just want to say to the residents of Newark and the businesses of Newark, just to come and try us out because really we provide a very fresh, clean, comfort food. And the beautiful thing about it is well-priced. I mean, it's very competitive and probably a lot less than a lot of other places. And we really just create a clean, healthy vibe. And what, what are your hours of operation? Our hours of operation are Tuesday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're going to expand that for the summer months starting in June to 8 p.m. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, which is our Sunday throwdown, uh, soul food throwdown. Mm -hmm. And that starts at 8 a.m. and we end at 7 p.m. Okay, yeah, I've actually come by on uh, Easter Sunday. I was here with my son. We came right after church. Yeah, yeah we had brunch it was here after church. really crowded, so yeah. it was a beautiful thing. So, Vonda, is there anything else you want to say uh, before we leave the show? Yes, we want to thank, you know, the Newark residents. They've been so supportive, and, you know, we just want to have an establishment that everyone is welcome to and feels that, you know, see the vision that we're trying to offer our customer, which is healthy choices along with traditional a traditional menu and I also well I just want to take a moment to thank you Willie mm -hmm. Strickland for all that you've done for us okay. and just the pro-life advice has been beautiful and we appreciate this opportunity to speak to you absolutely so remember viewers you too can have a professional lifestyle if you have a business plan and just strive to be successful once again I want to thank all my viewers for tuning in to pro-life advice where you too can be a professional Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Okay. <laughs> Once again, viewers, my name is Bill Strickland, and we're back here today at the Professional Life Advice Show, where you too can have a professional life. I'm here today with Hugh Jeff Mustafa, born and raised, right out of Newark, New Jersey. He's actually from Irvington. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself. Mustafa. How you doing, DJ Wolfstein? I've been in the business about 20 some years. Started as a young youth man. My mother and father embraced me with this beauty to keep me out the street. I just want to say, we're one of the best professionals that we got out here today. My good friend Will Strickland is here, man. Shout out to 98.7 Kids Live. We also live for my man Antoine Croix, another very hard working DJ, man. He's up here. He's got to say, well. Yourself. I understand you and DJ Quad actually moved together, all those vocals are over your eyes, that's right? Yes, me and Quad had to do friendly competitions in the house, go to his mother's house with records, and we used to practice a lot. Um, both of us took this very serious as young kids and kept us out the street, this is what we did. We want to thank our parents for that too. We want to thank Quad's mother for letting us call her basement and make a whole lot of noise. So it all started from it. Like I said, my girlfriend Quad's own kids, a lot of hard work, man. I want to thank him again that we're in the building today for my man, Juan Juan. All right, so Mustafa, give our viewers a little bit of advice on if you're ever going to be a DJ like yourself. What's some advice? What are some things that make you too characteristic you should have? They want to be a professional DJ. Well, what I want to say is if you've got to take it real serious, uh, punctuality is everything, a contract is everything, your communication is everything. You definitely need those three skills, and you have to practice the craft of music. Once you get the craft together, you got to have a contract, you got to have a phone, you got to be on time, and your hygiene and everything got to be neat. Take it real professional, you'll go a long way. I did. I've been in the business for 23 years almost. Okay, DJ Masaba, I want to 
Hello viewers, my name is Will Strickland of Pro-Life Advice, where you too can have a professional lifestyle. I'm going to talk to you today about anger and also about how to alleviate stress in your body. One of the many ways that we see anger in many people is by emotions and also by exterior circumstances and situations. Maybe someone has cut you off while you're driving your car. Or maybe someone at your job has done something that just really got on your nerves. The most important thing is to really take control of the situation and understand that it's something that's actually going to hurt you in the long run. So you should actually decrease the anger by saying to yourself, I'm not going to let this bother me. I'm going to remain cool and calm throughout the situation. Some of the ways to do this is simply to just do deep breathing exercises. You can count up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and so on. As you do deep breathing exercise, you breathe in and out, in slowly, and exhale. I believe it was a show with uh, Martin Lawrence, they call it the Wusa effect, where you can just pretty much Wusa that away. But you really want to remain calm and cool and collective. The more you practice this technique, the better you off you'll get at it. And also you'll alleviate stress in your body and so on. Another way you can actually practice alleviating stress is by laying in a, or either sitting in a cool, calm area where you can just really focus on maybe one thing that happened throughout your day or just see yourself in a nice, cool environment, maybe sitting on the top of a mountain. Close your eyes and meditate. See yourself sitting on a beach or an island somewhere where there's just nothing but you and the sea or maybe the sounds of Other sea. things you can do to actually alleviate stress in your body is reduce the caffeine intake throughout your day. You should actually have no more than one or two caffeinated products throughout the day. And after 3 p.m. in the afternoon, definitely do not drink any coffee or caffeinated products because the more caffeine you add to your body, Later on in the day, you'll have trouble sleeping and so on. Another technique that you can use to alleviate stress and stress disorders, uh, cut down on alcohol consumption and definitely um, avoid any type of drug abuse because this adds stress on your body as far as uh, if you're using any type of nicotine and so on and so forth because your body starts to develop certain cravings and when you don't have those cravings, you also develop stress and stress disorders. Try to get at least a minimum of six and a half to seven and a half hours of sleep per night because a well-rested body heals a well-rested mind. Again, just some of the techniques and principles that I would like to talk to you today about from Pro-Life Advice. And I want to thank you again for tuning in to Pro-Life Advice Show, where you too can have a professional life. My name is Will Strickland. You can reach us at www.prolifeadvice.com. That's www.prolifeadvice.com. Or simply dial 973-517-5540. That's 973-517-5540. Again, thanks for tuning in to Pro Life Advice, where you too can have a professional life. Thank you. Yeah, y'all. Medea might say right about here, Hallelujah. Anyway, we're going to kick it mind, body, and soul with the next artist, Troy Balkum. Did you know the production of hip hop spits was caused by the elicitation of definitive responses to the art of making hits, giving you funky stimuli, then on the rebound, the art of making you uncontrollably high through vibe? How high? Height depends on the artist. Some cool, some not, some with live hip hop sounds, and some weakened as it's full of snot. Do more than just listen to my speech, yo. In clothes, we will find pages of everlasting flows. I know you've been searching for news, so here's your cue. Pick up a book and read and feed your mind to develop your decorum. Be that cat going to class and not the one looking back saying, I could have a future. Hey man, you got a quarter? Look at you, hanging all night at bars and stealing cars. And I told you to stay away from that kid Bryce out there in the street all night shooting dice. How long you think that's going to last? One day you're going to run out of gas and then you're going to be a blast from the past. 
Oh yeah, I know you'd be taking those cars down the block at that place they call Jake's Chop Shop and running numbers for that kid, little Knot. Son, son, what do you want to be in this life? How are you going to live your life? A grain of sand in a lost land filled with people with no role because you lost all that which they made you whole. Your family, your shorty, your cream, your self-esteem, your game, and now your name. No one wants to be associated with a cat with no name. You might as well be holding up leaves from these trees and at least you get paid some air to breathe. But see, if you don't go to school, you wouldn't be able to appreciate that, you sap. Go on that corner, go take a nap. But check it out. Check it out. On the flip side of that, you could be the main attraction, the one receiving satisfaction, just stay in school. You could be the one with loot, the one wearing those Versace suits, just stay in school. You could be the one with a refined game that cuts like a clean incision that was developed through hard work and now operates with pristine precision, telling us in the street brothers to just shut up and take a listen. Son, son, don't be nobody's fool. Just stay in school. Son, what do you want to be in this life? A, a doctor. doctor. Son, what do you want to be in this life? A, a lawyer. lawyer. Son, how you gonna live your life, a mega hip hop star, when it switch your gears and you'll go far? Hello, my name is Hunter Hayes, and I'm on the Pro Life Advice Show, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, first, we'll start out with where I'm from, where I was born, Essex County, Montclair, New Jersey, um, way back in the 1900s. Um, and I Obviously, uh, as I grew up, my father was into drum. Hunter Hayes Sr. was a drummer. He played with Dizzy and Miles when they would come to Newark. My mother told me that. And um, I remember the drum set being at the house. And it was a white pearl set. And, uh, I think he was good. She said he was good. And anyway, um, jazz records would come to the house. And Miles, Dizzy, and, uh, Sarah Vaughn all the greats of the past, we had a high five. It wasn't a, uh, of course it was no, no, no CDs back then, but we had a high five stereo. And um, bass was booming in the house on a Friday and a Saturday. And they had dances at my house in the basement, my mother's house. People would be dancing to the music. I had fun watching the people act crazy, but the music was the thing that used to get to me. And right now we're gonna uh, skip forward a little bit to some of the things I'm doing locally to keep myself going. So my advice, since this is an advice show, anybody who's trying to make a record, a CD, anything, uh, you need to start with the basics. First of all, know that you can sing, know that you can play, and do things that are your uh, strengths. I'm good with R&B and jazz because I play the sax. And um, so I'm not going to be singing any uh, neo or anything like that. I, I do like neo and all those guys, but you know, uh, I have to do what I do best. And to get hired on a local level to make money until your record gets big, you have to sing what the people want. So Val and the people here at uh, Val 52 in different places around town, and they hire me because what I do best is I feel from here when I sing. I sing old school, I go from Motown to Barry White, come on down. I'll do some Teddy Pendergrass, some Loser, some Marvin. That's what people feel. Those are the records people bought. And if you can touch them through what they bought, through what they know, they'll hire you. <laughs>
Get your pro-life advice. Get your pro-life advice from the leaders of the nation. Get your pro-life advice. Get your pro-life advice. They'll help your situation. Oh, pro-life, where life matters. Where you, too, can have a professional life.